Good morning. So I'm doing my risk assessment ahead of my Waking the Dead walk on Sunday, this coming Sunday. I won't see what date because I'm going to do it this month. I'm going to do it next month as well. Um, and uh, I just thought I'd give you some highlights. So Margaret Annie Neve here, born 1792 uh, and died in 1903. Yes, just 30 days short of her 111th birthday. What a fascinating life she had. Very privileged, admittedly, but a fascinating life. Went to, uh, she traveled to every country in Europe, bar one. I'll save that question for my walk in case I want to give a beautifully treasured prize for the answer to that question. Uh, and we can talk about other things that she did. I was in the library this week. I was reading some of her travel logs. Absolutely fascinating. Not least because bear in mind, she did all that traveling at a fairly grand age and before railways. Well done, Margaret Mee. Hope you can hear me today over the traffic. But another tomb that we'll be talking about and looking at in the Brothers Cemetery here is this one, um, Major William Bing. I've got my water resting on there at the moment. Uh, so a short but uh, quite fascinating life. He was one of the last duelists on the island. Uh, and again, we can talk about his duel and others on Sunday. Here I am in Upton Road, in between the traffic, um, and behind me, a stone to the memory of one of my favorite characters here, um, Big Sam MacDonald, he was six foot 10. So he was a member of the 93rd Regiment of the Sutherland Highlanders. So I've got lots to tell you about him on Sunday too. So I'm in Candy Cemetery now, uh, and behind me, um, is the tomb of Captain Headley Cliff. Um, he only died in the 20th century, but he was a tenant of her, uh, Jetu, sorry. Let's see if you can see out to the east coast here today. Possibly, possibly not. Anyway, another fascinating story about this great man and his achievements. So, Candy Cemetery, built for the great and the good, only the Anglicans, mind you. Now, the tomb behind me, Jean Allaire, he was great, but was he good? I've got some interesting stories for you about him. Um, he is at the top of the cemetery here, where the great and the good and the wealthy have their tombs and monuments. And uh, you can see how he got in, because in his day, as a privateer, he was the richest man on the island. I'm not sure he was as good though. Now, not all my characters, famous or infamous, are in cemeteries. And therefore, we will also take the opportunity to walk through the beautiful gardens of Candy. You can probably hear that siren. Yes, in between the siren and somebody drilling, it's all become very noisy around here. Beautiful, but noisy. We're all feeling very smug here on Guernsey. We must be the best part of 110 days COVID free. Go us. Okay, I think I've got a brief respite on the noise. So one of my next questions will be, why is this location called the Blue Mountains? Which is how it's fondly known locally, because we don't have any mountains, let alone any blue ones. Anyway, all will be revealed on Sunday. Uh, in addition, this is where we will stop. Um, let me see if I can show you that and have a little rest and some refreshments uh, looking out at this lovely view. But more importantly, I will regale you with stories of 
uh, jo uh, John Charles Chapner, The Last Man Hung in Guernsey. I'm not sure what that squeal was. Do you think I need to worry? Anyway, it was in this location. It's a very opportune moment for that person to shriek. Uh, and we'll go into more of his story later on Sunday.